What's going on everybody? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, I've got everything prepped, check it out. So Chicago Electric is on the left, Bear Spot, Torque X is going to be on the right. So uh, I've got my, um, my cleaning pads, spray, and uh, the conditioner, which I'm going to spray one or two squirts on each one before. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a quick, quick little wash just to make sure everything I mean, it, it needs a needs a little wipe down, so do a little wipe down. We're going to hit it with a V34, and, uh, you know, these little little charts that they have, you know, coarse, medium, fine, and ultra fine. So we're going to hit it with the uh, medium, and uh, see see what, it, what it's going to do. Oh, and uh, don't bitch that I'm going to use just some uh, paper towels and uh, the stuff, because I'm obviously going to correct it. All right, so we're going to start with a V34. I'm going to hit, use the Harbor Freight on this side. Now because this is such a larger pad versus the uh, 5 inch, you know, it doesn't look like much, but it is. Um, we're going to be able to knock out a lot more of the area faster. So. Now the ramp up speed on this is a lot faster than the Torque X you'll see in the video. Let me move you somewhere else. Let me go grab some uh, <clears throat> a microfiber and detailer. <clears throat> to the tape because I don't want to pull any contaminants off of it but right now looking at the light that I've got up there I mean it is it is like 100% better all right guys so if you are wondering why I chose the torque X on the right side or the driver's side of the vehicle it's farther away from the uh, power source and it's got a longer cable you remember watching from my last video five five and then I'm going to do three squirts of this as I do with the other. Okay, it's primed and ready. Also, watch the ramp up speed on the buffer itself. This one slowly, like gradually increases. That one's done. Check out, check out all these contaminants it did pick up. So good thing that I've got the cleaner with it to clean off both of these guys. All right, same thing. Detail it, wipe it, finish up this front end portion. All right, here we go. So again, I just did from this inside hood line over to the tape, both sides, tape. To this hood line. What's going on everybody? So I had some time to think and in thirds you guys should have said like dude what the fuck like in thirds so what I'm going to do is pull the tape we're going to split it right down the middle. The Harbor oh. Freight did take a little bit longer and then the Torque X it seemed to have gone a lot faster maybe due to the mechanical advantages that the Torque X has. However if the Chicago Electric gets the same results, just takes longer, you know, that's where you're gonna make your decision on which one you wanna purchase. All right, cool. Cool, so here's what we're gonna do. Chicago Electric this side, Torque X the other side, driver side, passenger side. But take a look over the reflection. See, so you see the light bulb, and then get my big head out of the way. But as you come across, you can see, following the light, there's the tape line, real fuzzy, and then it gets nice, it swirls, and then it gets nice and clear over here. So, let's knock this thing out. Electric. 
Trick, Dual Action Polisher, Hex Logic 6 inch pad, and uh, we've got a third of the half of the hood that's been done. So this has been done, this hasn't been done, this needs to get done. So half over. And the conditioner, I'm always going to use conditioner, it's a nice lubricant to help start off the, uh, the job. So we're going to do uh, three sprays. Okay, so this was done, this, this section all the way up was done. Now the cut from inside here to here was done the other night. So that's why I didn't hit this part. But I hit this part and this part. And then if you notice how it's just a little off to the right of the forward sign, I'm going to do the same thing off over to the left of the forward so I can get a nice clean like as as close as 50 to 50 here we're gonna have an overlap in the middle not a big deal the biggest part is we're gonna see a transition from across and see which one just directly across 50 50 which one looks better so we're gonna do the same thing we did on this side over here I'm gonna use the torque X over on this this section plus this leave out this section and then do from here over to here with the uh, polisher You'll see that there is a little bit of, you know, polish difference there. We're going to make up for, you know, let's just say a strip right in the middle. That is both of them for uh, coverage during the polish. I don't think it's a big deal. If you do, bitch and complain. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the import. contaminants I didn't clay bar the car so that's why I was picking those up all right pad is prepped and ready to go we're going to do the middle of the hood now and knock it out <laughs> All right, cool. So, follow the light. I don't know how much you're going to be able to tell. It looks all pretty damn good to me. However, we do need to Get this set up. Watch this. All right, so it's all done with one step of the 34. Uh, Chicago Electric, passenger side, driver's side, the Torque X. Now the real true test is we need to take this out to the sun and have the sunlight hit it directly. And then I do need to do another wipe down on it. But a sun test is, you know, the best test to um, I mean you can use your light go over like we just did but I like to see um, the finished product in the Sun so we can actually get a uh, hard look at it um, hopefully I have some time tomorrow which is Friday to get this out um, and we'll do a Sun test I'll close off the video then upload it.
what's going on guys how's it going here is the hood of the focus now this this half torque x the other half chicago electric so we have just done only the v34 on this half with chicago electric and then v34 on this half um feeling it feels really nice and smooth you can see, I don't, I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but there is some squirrel marks that, that are there. Um, obviously, we need to knock it down to the uh, V36 and then the V38 to get rid of the rest of these small swirls that we do have on the hood. However, both of the, uh, both of the polishers are working really well. So, um, you know, let's, uh, let's see what's going to happen with the next step and then, then the final step. That'll really tell us what uh, what kind of performance we're looking at with both the dual action polisher and the uh, Torque X. All right, so I'm going to end this series of videos today with the um, just the uh, final final look at what we have done for the hood. I'm going to do a second video for the V36 and the V38, and then we'll get the final results in the next video that we have coming out. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one. Also, if you're wondering, I got stung by a bee in the lip, so that's why it's, it, I'm, I'm a little fucked up. <laughs> Take it easy. Have a safe weekend.